Today I'm going to show you how to bring a DAZ Studio model into VR on Unity only using free Unity assets. Now the skin textures are going to be pretty basic so if you want to know how to uh, make it look a little bit better, I have another tutorial on improving textures from DAZ to Unity. I'll put that in the description below. Otherwise uh, this is just a basic a uh, model that I made a long time ago before I knew what I was doing and I just kind of want to see what you look like in VR. You're going to want to have Oculus integration already imported. If you haven't already done that, pause the video and come back once you're done with that. Next, activate the XR plugin manager. Hit the Oculus. You're going to want to go to the player, change the rendering color space to linear, go to the quality settings. See if there's one that's already kind of set up the way you want it. At this one, it's kind of medium. Pixel light count at one is important. Four times multi sampling on the anti-aliasing. Don't sync. Full resolution and per texture. And go ahead and disable shadows. Then the other under time, uh, switch it to one over ninety. I haven't seen it help at all to do one over one twenty yet, so. And then I don't even know if this part is even important, but I always switch the timeline to 90. I don't even know if that does anything, to be honest with you. And under graphics, we are going to go in here and we're going to switch it so that we have low, medium, high. All right, now back into DAZ, we're going to go to the character in the hierarchy and select all children to make sure we have all of her in there. When you look at my export settings, if you want to pause it for a second so you can kind of see how I have everything set up, this is what works best for me. I do not embed textures. This is going to be really important once you start getting to the point where you're bringing in multiple versions, multiple versions of the same model, especially when you're kind of experimenting to see what works best with each individual model. Yeah, when you don't embed textures, it's like one tenth the size for the FBX. So we're going to export it right into the asset folder of the Unity project. All right, this is a free scene in the All Sky is what it's called in the asset store. You can download that. It'll give you just something to put your model into that you don't have to pay for. Then we're going to go into the Oculus integration and under VR, uh, prefabs, and it's just the player controller. OVR player controller, I think that's what it's called. And we're just going to start situating it where we want it. Move the character around, make sure she's on the ground. And we're going to set our lighting. You will find that lighting, just like in Daz Studio, is very important in Unity, especially when you want to start seeing some of the textures in the on the skin of the character. Now, one thing about these FBXs is that you can't make any changes to the materials just right out of the box. So we just go into the FBX. We're going to highlight all these different materials and we're going to duplicate all of them. We're then going to go into her her materials and we're just going to replace all of those with the ones that we just duplicated. And then down below we're going to start just kind of messing with some stuff. Uh, the first thing is is we want to change the eyes. So we're going to go to cornea. Um, usually as uh, sometimes uh, Sometimes the textures aren't even there, so you'll have to actually put the textures in the spot. But usually, if they're there, you just have to take and change the transparency. Sometimes you have to mess with the irises and the pupils. Sometimes you don't. And if you want the eyes to look a little bit more realistic, I've found that you want to actually... The eye moisture, a lot of times, will just be plain white. Uh, go in there and just add the texture to the eye moisture. We're going to go into our eyelashes and usually on that uh, you just need to take it and put it into fade or cut out. Uh, I think cut out usually is what I do. And turn the eyelashes to black instead of them being white. And we're just going to go to our blend shapes and this is something that you have to set up while you're in DAZ to actually export the blend shapes or the morphs as they're called in DAZ. Um, but we're just going to give it a little bit of a smile. You can mess around with the hair if you want, make that look better. And since we don't want her just standing around in a T pose, we're going to go to Mixamo and we're going to download some animations. 
If you don't know how to use Mixamo, there's millions, there's probably not millions, there's a lot of tutorials out there on how to use Mixamo, but it is a great source for free animations. In fact, I am, I have always been shocked that they're free. We're going to give her an idle and then a jump animation. Back in Unity, we're going to create a, an animation folder and we're going to bring our Mixamo animations into that folder. We want to make sure that not only those animations, but also our character are all humanoid. We want to create a character controller. We're going to drag our new animations into the character controller and we'll make a transition from the idle to the jump and then back to the idle. Her jaw is stuck open so we're going to fix that by first duplicating the idle animation and we're going to create a new animation based off that. We're then going to create a new layer. We're going to call it the face layer and we need to go in and create an avatar mask that we're going to use to only control the face. We then drag our new animation into the face layer and adjust the jaw close to one throughout the entire clip. And now she can keep her mouth shut. All right, test it out. Everything looks like it's pretty good, but we are missing one thing. We need to actually do something with the face mask. We forgot to actually set it so that it only affects the face. So we'll do that. Now we go back in. And we pretty much have everything done. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll be doing more of these tutorials very soon. Also, don't forget the most important thing in all of this. Enjoy what you're doing in life. Everybody have a wonderful day.